Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf, and I am here with Anthony and Michael from The Fell. How are you guys doing tonight? Amazing. How are you? I'm, I'm doing well. I'm disappointed now. You guys are so close to me, and we're on Skype, and we could be doing this in person. Um, You'd be in the studio with us right now. I know. I need to blame my scheduler for this. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm, I'm just, I thought we were going to be interviewed by someone in Europe, and you're like 15 miles away from us. I know. I don't know why we're doing some. It's okay. It's All right, okay, you know what? in five minutes wait what is he no is i'm totally he... joking oh my god i'm like wait where are you going um oh you're such a nut oh god and i'm so gullible hello guys meet gullible um no you guys are so much fun and your new video footprints right did yes. i say that right yep. oh yeah yep. okay first of all that's a fabulous song and i need to tell you what i did today when i was listening to it my doctor back in california He's, he's like happy with what I'm doing and that I'm interviewing, but he knows that I interview a lot of country artists and he's like, I'm sorry, I'm just not into the country music. Next time you get a band that's really good alternative rock, just send them my way. So I did that today. I was texting him while he's on, you know, doing rounds, whatever. And I'm like, you have to check these guys out. They're amazing. So when you guys, when are you going to play in LA? I got to know, cause I got to send him to your show. You don't Might know be, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Soon. I hope soon. Before right. the new year. I hope. Well, you, yeah. guys, you guys start touring in September, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yep. I, I know that in, on September 9th, I think you guys are going to be at, um, in Rochester, New York. Uh, I forget what anthology, I think is where it is. It, it shows on their schedule September 9th. So, um, that would be right. yeah, I wish I was in New York, but I have somebody who's out there who can come see you. So, Got to make sure oh. I connect you guys there too because you guys are so amazing. Yeah. I, I I love it. And Anthony, you have a great voice. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I'm I'm gonna go back. When did you thank, discover thank, you had your voice? <laughs> what? When did you discover that you had a voice? Um, to you know, I I have two siblings that have way better voices than I do. Uh, so I grew up kind of thinking like they're the singers and I would sing a little bit, but it, it wasn't like, you know, I was kind of intimidated by it because right. my brother's like a phenomenal singer. But w in my teens, I started getting more and more into it and I had a YouTube channel and then, you know, just kind of started developing from there. And yeah. Do you remember what one of your first gigs was? And I'm totally going to crack a smile right now because I know. <laughs> I do know. I was either four or five years old and uh, I went to a nursing home with my mom <clears throat> and I sang salsa for you know the lovely folks that were there and it was a uh, it, it was a huge gig it was uh, really it's really special that's yeah. that's really <laughs> awesome for for somebody so young though that gets to do that right I mean and I'm sure that they loved it yeah oh yeah yeah at least I think yeah, That's absolutely, absolutely. Awesome. But but together as a band, you guys you guys are pretty awesome. And and I, and I really want to embarrass you and go back to you know, um, I think yeah. it was it Nickelodeon, was it, was it Nickelodeon that has that program? Go Diego, go. Oh right, yeah, yeah. That that totally happened. You found that, him. That totally you happened. Found him out. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's the first song I ever recorded. It was uh, a duck and a jaguar make silly friends. <laughs> And uh, it's very metal. It came from the heart um, <laughs> and from personal experiences that I had had growing up. Traumatic uh, duck thing. Dude. Rubber ducky. Who, who, who didn't have a you know, traumatic <laughs> duck story with, oh with a jaguar, you know. Um, I love it. Yeah. That was the first song I ever recorded. So go Diego, go. That That's great. You know what? Go Diego, go, though. He, he was pretty awesome. Got to say, my, my girls watched Go Diego, Stop go. Oh, God. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was awesome. <laughs> well, I'm glad you had that experience, and I'm glad you got to bring it to your to your you know bandmates, and I'm glad that they get to you know give yeah, you crap over it. Yeah, I think we're going to be covering it uh, right. every night on the road. That would actually be really I think funny. That's gonna be the show over there. You, yeah. you should totally at least do a Facebook Live with your your new version of it. I think that would be great. <laughs> that's a really solid idea. I. I <laughs> I totally want to be on there just to give you guys some shit, like, but I bet it would be amazing. I think I could really just quit the band. I think, I, I'm sure if I check my phone, there's going to be a text right now. <laughs> that would that would be awesome. Now, 
Oh my gosh, but but all of, all of that aside, all of you guys together have an amazing talent and it seems like you have such a good chemistry and watching the video was really fun for me. So I wanna know whose idea it was for the video. It was his idea. Um, yeah, we needed a video very quickly. <laughs> mm -hmm. So basically shot the video while we were in the studio and he was recording vocals. And that's kind of how it started. Yeah. Well, that, that, that's great. And do you think that, I mean, I know that Anthony, you've done some acting and you've done some pretty amazing stuff too recently, but do you think that that his, his, um, it's harder to do in a video without acting experience? Or would you say that, I mean, everybody has kind of a different view on how it is to make a music video and some people are terrified of it. And some people are like, well, I act every day in being in movies or being in this, it's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think I think there's no matter what, there's a certain level of uh, comfort that you need to have in front of the camera, um, and I think that acting has certainly uh, helped me in growing in my comfort level. You know, so right. um, yeah, yeah, I think it's definitely played a role for sure. That's awesome. Now, what what about you, Mike? I just hide behind my guitar. <laughs> I love it. There's a there's a fun little like um, I think it's like a 30 second video of you playing though. You're a kick ass guitar player. Like, Thank you. How, how awesome. I know I was just like I wanted to see more because on your website I was like wait what I just I got like a little snippet. I need more video of you because you really are phenomenal. When did you start playing? Plus four. Oh, see there you go. All right. So when the nursing home. You picked up the guitar. <laughs> Uh, you guys yeah, could have yeah. had like a rock and huggies band, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been that would have been so much fun. Now But uh, I, I was gonna say see, you, Oh sorry. What what's it what's it like being on the road with Billy Sheehan too? Because that man talk about complete badassery on a bass. Mm, yeah, he's a monster. Um well we haven't toured with this band together. We've played okay. him and I have played live together. Um but touring will be a, a neat experience. We did go to Europe to do some press and a little acoustic thing, but this will be a whole different ball game. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I think uh, it's definitely gonna make us step up our game um, <laughs> and keep us on our toes. And yeah, it'll be really fun. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it a lot. That's awesome. Well, he he's a, I mean, he's just a fantastic musician, but he's such an all around great guy. And like when I interviewed him not too long ago, he, was just a man, he eats and sleeps and breathes music. Like that is his thing. If he, he said if he could play two shows a day, 365 days a year, he would. It's just, and I'm like, well, you're, you're off to a pretty good start, Billy, because you, you're, he's in a part of so much stuff. I don't know where the hell he finds time. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, would, I was surprised that he wanted to do this band because of how bogged down he is with things, mm -hmm. but um, he loves it. So that's, yeah. that's a good thing. I'm actually not surprised because you guys are so good. I mean, when mm -hmm. I, I was just watching you guys today and I thought, you know what, this this group, you guys are, man, you're going to go right to the top and people are craving really good music and really great musicianship and good chemistry between, you know, the, the, the band members. And you guys have that. And Anthony and oh, my gosh, man, you guys are all just you're solid together. And I can just see the fans like showing up at your door and messaging you guys like crazy because. I just, I mean, I already can't get enough. That's why I was texting my doctor. I was like, oh my gosh, you have to hear these guys. And uh, so, well, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. A a absolutely. Now, how have your families been throughout all of this? Have they been supportive of? My <laughs> wife is super supportive. She's got she's, an awesome wife. She's, she's, uh, she's really great. supportive and yeah. pretty involved in mm -hmm. the day-to-day -day things. And she hears me bitching about <laughs> things all the time. But she's always right there. And my studio is in the house, so. Okay. Yeah, she gets to hear it twenty four seven. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, and kudos to her because I know that in this industry, and I've seen it, and I've talked to so many people, um, the significant others, man, they they have to have a thick skin because there are people that they're just so disrespectful <laughs> when <laughs> they don't care if you're married, they don't care if you have a girlfriend. Some of these people that I've seen, the man, they just don't care, and and so kudos to her for for knowing you know, all of this and being good with it and letting you do your thing. And um, I think that's really great. And I just, I, I like to give the, the wives and significant others credit because they deserve it. You know, it, it's not an easy life. And it's not easy for you guys too, because when you start touring and you're on the road and you're away from family and friends, have you, <laughs> there's somebody behind there or something that just- we, 
we're, we're actually at a party right now. Yeah. We just want everybody to be really quiet. Oh, but, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, but but I, I think it's I think it's a lot of fun um, just to see the amount of support that you guys are, you know, that you guys have and, and to, yep. to talk about Absolutely. that, because I think a lot of people kind of lose sight of that. They see the band. They see the band members. They they don't think about your personal lives a lot of the time. They just where are they going to be next? When are they going to be there? And when can I get to to get to them? And, and that's yeah. just something that I don't think a lot of people really invest in, and I, I think they should. You guys have lives, you're, you're human beings, you're people, and you need some downtime for you too. So, you know, just, yeah. I mean, I... Yeah, there's, there's the, 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 the highs are very high and the lows are very low in this industry. And, you know, it's so important to have uh, friends and, and family members um, that just support you through either, you know, phase. Um, yeah. So like, I think, yeah, I think yeah. we're both lucky enough to have that. So, Okay, so yeah. the question that I, I've been wanting to ask both of you all day, I think you've probably already answered it. And, and I mean, I mean, not technically, but I, I have a feeling I know where it's going. When, you know, we all go to school for the first time, the teachers always ask you, like on the first day, first whatever, what do you want to be when you grow up? Do you remember your teachers mm -hmm. asking you that question? Yep. Do you remember what your answer was? It's what I do now. Yeah, I figured since you were playing yeah. it at such a young age that that's what it was. What about for you, Anthony? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Mine, exactly. was, mine was not this answer. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was yours? Mine? Oh, my gosh. I wanted to be a veterinarian. Mm. Yeah. But, you know, when I was five, I became got, a... Wait, what? You got really... I did, right? You got, <laughs> I got uh, so uh, dogs, close. You You're almost dogs there. there. <laughs> Go push a little bit. A lot farther. of animals in this business. <laughs> yes. You know what? There are a lot of animals in this business. Good job. See, I am in a roundabout yes. way. Yeah. Help, helping some animals, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Oh my God, that's so funny. Um, no, but when, when, but when I was five, that's when I first discovered music myself. And I can't sing. I can't do any of that. But I, I was a huge fan of Bon Jovi. And... Um, I was just like, oh my gosh, who are these people on, you know, Dick Clark's program right now? Like, this is great. And they were singing Runaway. And I was just, from that moment on, I just, I was like that. <laughs> totally. Um, so I, I, I wanted to, you know, talk to these guys. And then I saw people like Lisa Gibbons getting to do it all the time, interviewing actors and, and singers and people that I loved and adored. And I was like, well, I want her job. So, you know. I feel like I've kind of achieved a little bit of that. So, um, yeah, that's awesome. yeah. Yeah. I mean, it took me a while to figure out where I wanted to go, but I'm here now and I'm, I'm super excited. And I get to talk to amazing people like you guys. Um, what, what else can fans expect from you? Because I'm just, I'm, I'm one of them. I'm one of the fans and I want to know what I get to expect. <laughs> that means a lot for real. Thank you. Thank you. Oh no, watch. Yeah, you're going to be seeing me on social media, just tagging you guys left and right. And gonna Yay. Be, I'm going to stop. That's you awesome. Now. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, we're, we're gonna... right now we are in the studio. We're working on the rest of the record. Um, hopefully in the next couple months we'll have a second single out. Nice. And then we are hoping to have the full length out by February. Oh, awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. All right. So that, that's... And expect a lot of Facebook Lives where we look like idiots. Because we have no idea what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, well, I, I've done that a few Lots times. Of Facebook. I, I have some videos Good. on our YouTube channel that are there are shenanigans with Missy episodes, and I Good. did I did you have you guys seen that inflatable that big huge giant inflatable bowl for the pool? Yeah. Yeah, I did an episode with one of those. Couldn't get on it to save my life and just kept falling <laughs> right over. Can we find that somewhere? Yeah, it should be. It's either on our Facebook page or on our YouTube page, and. It's pretty funny, me and another artist, um, I had her come over and we did the episode together and it was just, and she was more determined than I was, but um, mm -hmm. I, yeah, I got the ugly laugh going and everything. It was pretty funny. We we were kind of cursing the people at Walmart and Intex for false advertising with the lady on the, on the box who was sitting on it perfectly fine and none of us could even get on the damn thing. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. So you have, if you have an opportunity to get on one for the rest of the summer, you guys got to try it. I'm just saying. It's, it's we a, have to 
<laughs> now we, I feel like we don't it. even have a choice. We have to do enough. <laughs> you have to. It'd be so much fun, and I want to be there. I want to see it. But but no, in all seriousness, guys, you, you, you're you really great, and I could take this conversation a million different ways and be completely selfish with it because that's who I am sometimes. But I want to know, is there anything that you guys want to talk about, anything that you, you want fans to know um, about you guys individually or as a group or, or anything like that? I mean, um, we're just very excited to have this this first song out, Footprints. You know, it, it means a lot yeah. to each individual in the band, and um, uh, it's uh, I'm I'm really proud of it. I think it's awesome, and I'm I'm proud to get to you know be able to share the stage with these guys soon, awesome. coming up in September, and yeah, just super stoked about everything. Now, ha- have have you guys heard or seen Billy Sheehan with the? Um... What is it, the, the drill that he's used on his bass? Have you guys seen that yet? I was a big Mr. Big fan, so yeah. We might have to pull out the drill. I'm, I'm going to try to convince him. I... But it's their thing. We can't really rip it. No, but I really no. Want to... but... What if we use hammers? Maybe we can use hammers, yeah. Yeah, we're going to switch them up. <laughs> Saw. Yeah. There's... Saws. There, there you go. No, but but mm-hmm. being that he's in, in your bat, I just wasn't sure if, the, you know you've seen him do that live yet because I just saw him um, where, where <clears> was he? He was at Marathon Music Works here in, in Nashville. Or no, it was the basement. That's right. Basement. It was the basement I, East. I was at the show. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I was there too. But yeah. I, I probably found one of the only vents in the room that night. That room was freaking hot as hell. Mm. It's like we were all on fire in that, <laughs> in that place. But I found a vent blowing down on me. But when he pulled that thing out, I was like, oh my God, I've heard about this but I've never seen it. And I was just like mesmerized. Like, how did he even figure out that you could do that? So you guys are going to be in for some treats. And I think your audience is definitely going to be so thrilled to see you guys live when they finally get to do that. And I'm excited. I want to be one of them. So you guys have to let me know when you're going to be in town. Absolutely. For sure. All yeah. right. And anytime that you're in town, even if you're not performing, you have to let us know so that we can all like go grab a beer or something and just hang out. And yeah, just... I live here. I'm here all the time. Oh, you... And Billy's moving here. Yeah, this is my studio and my house. Are, I'm in uh, Murfreesboro. Right. Oh, my gosh. Well, you're like... We could have told you guys could have come into the studio, and we could do it again. I'll see you in and five minutes. You come yeah, over. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You guys, you're my people. This is... I'm just... I'm, I'm so excited. Like, really, seriously, I would love to do to do that when you guys have when you guys when have your album coming out look i can't even talk i'm so excited um when your album comes out we would love to do like a track by track with you on camera in your studio that would be great so yeah yeah yeah, yeah absolutely that, that would be uh friday you can maybe come in on thursday if you wanted to and get a sneak peek of some of the record and that uh nobody else has heard Ooh. We maybe, uh, okay i'm totally hint. all in um Thursday morning I'm busy, but I am free Thursday afternoon, evening, late afternoon, evening. Evening would be better. <laughs> yeah, probably evening because uh, we have to get a bunch of recording done, but that would be awesome. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh my gosh, we would love that. That would be so much fun. Thank you. I'm I'm so excited. Now, Anthony, do you mind if I talk to you a little bit about your recent um, movie appearance? Yeah. Okay. I mean, no. No, I don't mind. <laughs> I, well, <Yeah>. you know. <laughs> I always get so confused with that. That's okay. Yeah. Did you see how I just left that one on the floor? I didn't even pick pick up. Yeah. Um, no. For th- for the people at home who don't know, you got to play a young Captain Jack Sparrow in Dead Men Tell No Tales. What was mm-hmm. that experience like for you? That was um, when I was when I was eleven years old mm-hmm. when I did Go Diego Go and. Oh, and Jaguar. That that whole business. <laughs> um, I had done an interview, and they asked me who I had to work with before I died, mm-hmm. and I said John Depp. <clears throat> and then, you know, eleven years later, right. I got to work with Johnny Depp. And uh, you know, being a, a kid from mm-hmm. born and raised in Ohio, it's like what the f- yeah yeah. <laughs> PG. unreal you know it's 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 just uh, to say that it was a dream come true is like such an understatement but yeah it was amazing it was amazing I, I when I saw that I was so excited for you and I 
I could tell by your Facebook post and your social media post too. I felt like you were jumping up and down, screaming on the inside because you couldn't give all the details you wanted to give. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I, I can't imagine, I can't imagine how you even stayed composed. Yeah. <laughs> I would have, I would have just, just done died right there. I, I don't think I would have been able to handle it. I'll tell you how excited I was the day that I found out. I, I landed from Vancouver where I had done my uh, my, my screen test. Mm -hmm. I, I find out as I'm walking into mm -hmm. my apartment, and I realized after I walked into my apartment, I stepped, you know, I'd walked around my apartment for a little bit, like so excited, calling everybody. Right. That outside, I had stepped on dog poop, and I had smeared it all <laughs> over my carpet in my apartment, and I kid you not. I, I, I look around because I hadn't looked at the floor once. What? I look around and I'm just like, nothing. Just, nothing I don't give a shit. can make me feel bad right now. <laughs> the next hour of cleaning it up, no joke, it was about an hour. But I had a smile on my face the whole time. I'm like, were you singing yo ho, yo ho? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yep. Oh my God. That is the funniest thing ever. I never. Never imagined yeah. hearing that during this interview out of all the things, you know, that I never, never would have ever seen anything like keep that. It, <laughs> keeping I, it real. I love it. I, I love it. Definitely keep it real. That's what we do here. And when I screw yeah. up royally or I stutter or I, you know, we don't edit anything out. We just, we love to keep it real. So thank you. That's awesome. And um, as Absolutely. you guys get to know me, you'll, you'll get to know that I've got a lot of crazy and embarrassing stories myself, so <laughs> it, it's fun. But awesome. nothing could really top that day for for you in that moment, though. That's so exciting. Uh, I mean, yeah. you know, or at least you you think maybe nothing could top it, but I'm sure you'll get there because I'm I'm telling you guys right now that you guys are gonna go so far and so quickly that it's gonna make your head spin. And I just want you to know that you need to be prepared, and you need to be prepared for a lot of crazy to follow you on that because people, I mean. Your vocals, man, I, I'm sitting back and I'm like, holy shit, you can hit hmm. these notes and with this sound that's just so incredible. And I'm like, I can't, I squeak. There's no way, <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. Thank you, I really appreciate that, for real. I, I, absolutely, and, I, and I'm so excited to see you guys with Billy and, and to just see what you guys learn from him and what you guys all together as a group, the longer that you're together, the longer that you're practicing and you're developing more and more um, techniques together and, and, and things. I just, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with because it's just where you're at right now is already phenomenal. So, and if I know Billy, I know that you all together with your individual talents and then combined, it's just going to blow people's minds. So, Thank you. So, thank you. <laughs> no, you're you're welcome. So, okay. Well, is there anything else you want to say before we go? Because I'm already like I got to plan Thursday. We love you. Aw. Oh no, thank you're you talking for having to fans. us. Damn it. <laughs> no, we 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 love we love you, and and thank you so much for for allowing us to to do this with you guys today. And fans at home, stay tuned for more from these guys because they're great, and I'm gonna stalk them. And you know that that means you're going to get lots more footage. So until next time, guys, stay tuned. Peace.